All right, guys, as I said in the intro, I am Kevin the Tech Ninja. I'm a guy that makes mostly Android videos, but I'm actually gonna start doing DSLR gear as well um, because I am getting into DSLR photography and video, so I might as well unbox the crap that I buy. All right, guys, this is the um, Young Uno Flash. Whoops, Young Nuo, Young Nuo Flash, and this is supposed to be a really popular flash. I was actually in the market to buy a Canon Speedlight, and someone said, hey, you know what? Make sure you pick this one up first. This works just like the Canon one, but a fraction of the price. The Canon flash I was looking at was around 300 bucks. This one was $120, I believe. So let's take a look at this, dig into it, and see how, how it actually is. All right, guys, this is the Young Guno, Young Guno, Young Nuo. <laughs> this is gonna jack me up. This is the Young Nuo Speedlight, the YN565EX. Has a very nice box. I'm actually surprised at the box that it comes in. It's, it, it feels good. It feels like a high quality box. Um, like if you were to buy a flash off the, off the shelves, if you buy like a Canon flash off the shelves, the box is extremely similar to something of a real high end product. Um, has all the spec specifications down here. Um, it lets you know that it actually communicates directly with your camera, and it does a lot of things in here as well. Um, and like I said, uh, a buddy of mine who's really into photography, he's really good, he recommended this flash for me to try out. Let's open this guy up. All right, we have an instruction book, a user manual. And remember, this is for a Canon camera. And it comes in a nice bag. All right. It comes in its own bag. Okay. And there she blows. It's, it feels good already. It's extremely heavy. Um, and it feels like it's made of high quality already, just, just by the construction of it. Now this is completely plastic, but it has some nice weight to it, some nice depth to it. Let's see if it comes with batteries. Nope. They wouldn't come ship with batteries, I know that. But it takes four AA batteries is what I'm told. So um, we can toss four AA batteries in here and we can see how it works. But let's talk about the construction really quick here. So as you guys probably know before watching this video, the head um, does tilt. And it, you know, turns as well. So it has full range of, well, almost full range of motion. So you can really point this flash wherever you want. You can point it to the ceiling. You can bounce it off something. Um, you can have, use one of these cards that actually has, has a bouncing card. I don't want to break anything. Oh, dear. Curse me and my no nails. There we go. So we have our bouncing. This is our uh, diffuser and this is our uh, card that allows us to bounce it. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Let's do that again if I can. Oh, very cool. So we have the diffuser right here and we have the card that we can use to bounce it as well. So very cool, very cool. Um, we have the buttons in the front, function mode, uh, fast forward looks like zoom on and off and pilot as well and also has a hot shoe at the very bottom that um, you use to mount to your camera all right now that I have the flash fired up it takes four AA batteries um, here we have it now um, this is a screen that will read your camera settings and here are all the function modes now I don't know how it works just yet because it's my first time using it um, but we do have uh, a lot of buttons here we can go Use the light as a function key. Um, there are different modes and all sorts of stuff. But you have to mount it to your camera first for it to work because it's reading off your camera. So what I'm going to do is mount it to my camera and I'm going to use my cell phone to record and we're going to talk about it from here. All right, guys, after using this uh, flash for a little bit of time, I, I did enjoy it. Um, 
I'm not really good with flashes. This is my first time actually using a, a full-on external flash. Um, but I am excited about this. Uh, you know, I, I can tell that this flash is a good one so far. Um, I like the fact that it communicates with my camera. So when I see my exposure, when I see my exposure levels at the bottom, it takes account for the flash, which is really good. So um, I'm probably not going to do a full review because full reviews are done. Um, everyone does full reviews. So um, this is just my unboxing initial impressions of my flash. Um, that is it, guys. My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. If you like what I do here, make sure you drop me a like and subscribe to my channel for more great videos, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff. Also, I'm on AndroidAuthority.com and SoundGuys.com. You have yourself a great day. Peace.